so let's start with the career focus question. Could you tell us a little bit about yourself? Tell us about your current position and your academic background. Yeah, so my name is Kate. Uh, I graduated from UBC Engineering fairly recently. I've been out of school for about a year and a half working. I managed to get back on with the company that I did my co-ops with. So I'm working for tech resources in the mining industry. I've been working in a couple of the different coal mines they own uh, throughout the Rockies. So I graduated as a geological engineer from UBC's geological engineering program with Bachelor of Applied Science. And my first job when I got back on with tech was to work as a geotechnical engineer up at their Cardinal River operations in Hinton. And since that mine has gone to closure, I've recently transferred back down to their Elk Valley coal mines near Fernie Sparwood, BC. And I've been working as a short range geologist at their Elk Mine for the last couple of months. Nice, nice. Uh, what would be a typical day at work for you as a geological engineer? Most of my sort of professional career life, I've been working geotechnical roles, but lately I've been doing uh, more of a geologist role which is really similar to geological engineering because it's a fairly multidisciplinary program where there's a lot of overlap with geology and you have to be strong in the geosciences either way. So for both jobs, it's showing up pretty early, which is very mining industry standard. I get to be there right at 6 a.m. for the turnover meetings to hear how night shift went. And then usually after that, it's sort of a bit of a daily morning routine where you'll review uh, whatever needs to happen for the day to get going. I used to, in my geotech role, do a lot of daily time in the pit where I'd go and check out all the active dig faces and make sure all of our protections for various hazards were still up to spec in the pit and take a look on any hazard progression and make sure things are going well in the field. And then my afternoons would be more dedicated to taking that sort of information I gather from the field and putting that into more technical practice by maybe updating any work procedures for any hazardous areas and how we want people to be accessing those or doing more analytical work. Could you tell us a bit about some of the projects you're currently working on? Uh, one of the projects that I'm sort of involved in right now is implementing a new initiative that they've been trying to start at the mine where we're looking to recover thinner and thinner coal seams. And the really easy ones to recover are super thick and it's really easy to justify cleaning them and recovering a lot of it with our equipment. But we're looking at trying to recover thinner and thinner seams, which is tough because a lot of the cleaning process and removing waste rock from either side of the seam is what becomes really challenging to get a good project and takes a lot of equipment hours, which can sometimes make it less economic and difficult to recover. But we're looking at doing the math on figuring out how much more we can justify recovery. Moving on, uh, what stood out to you about choosing geological engineering and what are some sort of things that make you decide on pursuing it? So I really had no idea what geological engineering was when I first attended UBC when I was in my first year of school. It wasn't something I had ever really thought of or considered for myself because it's a pretty small and niche program so I wasn't right. even really aware that it existed. But I sort of changed my mind on it because I wound up sort of meeting a lot of people who were in the program who seemed like they were really interested in what they were doing and pretty passionate about it and they painted a pretty interesting picture of the industry that it was so it really caught my attention and it's a very small program as well at UBC mm -hmm. so you're able to have a nice niche and really get to know a lot of your classmates and professors pretty easily and sort of feel a really strong sense of community there as well. Also lots of fun outdoor opportunities and you get to work in beautiful places every now and again. Yeah for sure for sure the outdoors is definitely like a one of the big plus of people choosing geological engineering. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's how they get you in. Um, moving on, I know your career hasn't been that long, but if you have uh, any valuable or memorable events that has happened throughout the career, could you tell us a little bit more? At their Cardinal River mine site, the day before I showed up on site, that the mine would be going to closure and we'd be finishing operations after the end of the year. For a geotechnical engineer, it's extremely valuable experience because you tend to see uh, more interesting problems develop as you get deeper and deeper into pit bottom because that's when you sort of are trying to realize your designs and mm -hmm. your risks tend to increase. So being there to manage and see the mine site to safe completion and then be fortunate enough to have a company that was able to transfer me back down to another 
property so that I could continue working with them and professionally developing myself in the industry. It was really a great experience for me to have so much high quality learnings over that year and then to be able to keep working on with the company. What are some of the challenges for you in deciding this career path? And did your goals or plans kind of change during your studies or once you started your career? It wasn't really something that I had registered would be a real option for myself as a geotechnical engineer, but obviously I didn't have the greatest grasp of what the entire industry looked like as a student. So I got really great exposure to it as a co-op and it was not necessarily the exposure I anticipated I would because I was working mostly geology based roles rather than more of a geotechnical engineering experience. But it was ultimately really valuable and I took a lot out of those roles and learned that it was an industry I was really interested in continuing work in and was able to get back on full time and do more of the geotechnical work that is ultimately sort of my personal passion. What was your most memorable university experiences? All of my most memorable experiences at UBC are probably pretty linked to the involvement that I had there. Mm -hmm. I got a lot out of being really involved in some student organizations on campus and different campus engineering undergraduate society. And I wound up serving as president in my last year on campus, which was really nice for me to be able to the wheel a little and sort of steer things in my last year because I'd been pretty involved up to then. And it was nice to be able to sort of mm -hmm give back even more because the society had sort of provided me with a lot of opportunities and growth. If you could give only one piece of advice to your younger student self, what would it be? It would maybe to not worry about the plan so much and just to do what makes sense at the time. <laughs> right. I really would not have been able to foresee where I am right now several years ago, but I'm super happy with where I've landed both personally and professionally. I was really hesitant to take a co-op term away from the lower mainland and work out in a coal mine, but it turned out being a really great experience for me that I'm really happy to come back to full-time professionally and open myself up to geological engineering as an opportunity, even though I didn't know a lot about it prior. It was a great fit for me ultimately. So just staying really open stuff and not worrying about where you'll end up and just continuing to make choices. Just wrapping up, what is your favorite part of being an engineer? Uh, I like solving problems a lot. And mm -hmm. I find engineering to be a pretty fulfilling and collaborative way to do that in general. I get to play around outside quite a bit with my job doing geological engineering and work with a lot of different people from a lot of different backgrounds, whether they're fellow professional engineers or geologists mm -hmm. or more on the operational side of things get a lot of exposure to different people and problems that I get to solve that ultimately usually come down to keeping people safe at work and making sure that the walls are going to stand up and nothing bad's going to happen with any geohazards. So it's a pretty fulfilling job to get to work with a ton of great people and focus on keeping things safe. That is awesome.